Welcome. You are watching AIL TV, all Africans in London TV. Now, it is exciting times. You see, I am sitting behind African cities. Normally, mainstream media, this is uh, something that you don't see. Now, when you look at, uh, when you look behind me, these are not futuristic cities, are actual cities. If you go to Kigali, you will see something like that. If you go to Nairobi, you will see a tower like behind me here. You go to Kampala, you see what, what is behind me on the right-hand side or left. And if you go to Angola, you will be able to see what Angola has. So that alone tells you Africa is rising. Yes, people said it 10 years ago. They've been saying Africa rising. But then again, mainstream media is also been playing a part of dumping down Africa. Well, let me tell you, now we are beginning to be in control of our own affairs. And this is where Business Connect Africa comes in. Business Connect Africa, what the name says, it is exactly that. Now, let me give you a little bit of a background of where we are coming from. East Africa, it includes loads of many countries. But let's say, for example, let us talk about the Horn of Africa. The Horn of Africa includes Sudan, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Somali, Somaliland, Djibouti, and then you come down to Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda. Yeah? That region alone has 200 million people. 200 million people. Now, that is plenty of businesses there, and plenty of money is being made. Imagine, even if one person would, to, would has to go to a shop and spend, spend one dollar a day as the mainstream media puts it. Yes, that region is making 200 million dollars a day. Think about that, my friend. Right. And then we have got this region we call the Great Lake region of Africa which is Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. That region alone has 107 million. Now, 107 million, if we take off the percentage of children and the people who are not working, Let's say you have got 75 million people. These are people who are able to go to the shop every day and spend $5. Never mind the mainstream media again. They always say that many Africans, they, they live under a dollar. Right, 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 right. I know the average spend of an African, it could be $5 or it is $5. Let us put it at that figure. So if you have got 70 million, yes, 70 million people spending $5 every day, that is $35 million every day that Africa, in that great lake regions of Africa, they spend. But Business Connect Africa, that's where we come in. So, and it is the brainchild of three guys. They sat down. We have known each other for a long time. Some have been here in Europe. They've left. They've gone to Africa, started businesses. Now, I am talking about two gentlemen who are in Kigali. So when you look at uh, the back of me here, that is their town. The, no, that is their city, sorry, not a town. 
Kigali is a vibrant, a vibrant city and things are really happening at a, at a terrific speed. So we decided, let us see if there is this money made every day, but what kind of businesses are there? You find that there are all kinds of businesses. There is agribusiness, processing food, or we, or, or we call it uh, food and, and drink or food and beverages, which is, which is really exciting right now. If I tell you that the food and drink industry in Africa, right now as we speak, it is $317 billion projected to reach $1 trillion in the year 2030. This is the money that is made in Africa. So you shouldn't believe what the mainstream media tells you. Because they will tell you Africa is uh, poor. When you go to Europe, you see these adverts on, and on the train telling you that people are starving and stuff like that. That is an agenda. You see, we know we can bust that. But anyway, let me, let me come back to uh, Business Connect Africa, which is a very exciting venture. This is a brand new venture that we have sat down and thought about it and before we start going out there and telling people oh, yeah you know it is like this no we know because ignatius mugabo is a is a guy who has uh, started business in kigali uh, uh stephen twahire is a business lawyer so they know what they are doing i am a media man so basically this is what is going to happen we have created this venture so that if you are in whatever business that you are in, and it doesn't matter whether you are in, in India, whether you are in, uh, in any part of the world and you want to do business in Africa, this is the place you have to go to, Business Connect Africa, because it is like a Bible of the business. It will tell you which business is where and what it does. So, without wasting so much time, I know, uh, you know, look, it excites me when I see, you know, when you look at the back of me here and you see cities like this, as I said, these cities are not futuristic. These are actual cities. That means there is a lot, a lot of things happening. And the good thing is that now we are in control. We can manage to create our own media and showcase Africa and its businesses the way it is. We don't want second-hand stories. No. We were born in Africa. We grew up in Africa. Even though I am in Europe right now, but I'm thinking African. And to me, this is really, it makes me happy to see Africa, the one you see behind me there. Imagine that. Now, these two guys, Ignatius Mugabo, Stephen Tuahere, they are going to tell you a lot of things uh, that probably you are not aware of. So, if you are an African, you are doing business, or you, you are planning to do business in Africa, Business Connect Africa is the one to go to. The people are there. And not only that, you see, the thing is that on the program we will be having experts to explain to you. They will talk about African stock exchange. They will, they will talk about exchange rates. We will endeavor to bring you all the financial news that, that is relevant to you. We will bring news that is relevant to your business. So you see, it's very exciting. Now, Ignatius and Stephen, these are the very first people you are going to see on this program. They will be, they will be able to tell you what exactly they are going to do and how, and how they are planning to get this venture up. 
I am so much, I am, listen, I'm so excited because you see, in Africa, we have got innovators. We have got tech companies. We have got agribusiness companies, water companies. So we, you will know about all these things. So for now, I need to stop here. And next time you see, you, you see us, we will be talking about financial. We are going even to create our own Financial Times kind of uh, information and, and a blog and stuff like that so that you know. We, we want you to know we are serious about this and you are going to see guests who are in businesses from trade industries. So, on that note, I must end up here.